So we now know the current output by I. We also actually know with just a little bit of thinking, the current um, going down branch A and branch B because we know that the equivalent resistance of branch A is the same as the equivalent resistance of branch B because for branch A, we had the equivalent resistance of being, what did we say, six ohms? And for branch B, we have the equivalent resistance of also being six ohms. So since the equivalent, since the resistance of each branch is the same, and since each branch has the same potential difference, because there, and this is, I'm mislabeling my stuff. This first branch, branch A should be the resistance of two and three. Branch B was okay. Uh, branch A is the potential difference of two and three. Okay, so the branch A is in parallel with branch B. So that means the potential difference of each of those branches is, is the same, and they are in parallel with the battery. So the potential difference of, of each of those batteries branches is the same as the battery. And we know then from Ohm's law that we could find the current in, in either of those branches. Let's say we wanted to find the current in branch A with resistors two and three. Well, that's going to just be equal to the product of the current and the resistance. And so if we wanted to find that current, that current is just equal to this. And that happens to be the same current as goes through branch B. Now, knowing the current is important because we need to know the current in order to figure out the potential difference from B to A, which is the next thing we're going to do. So the potential difference from B to A, they wrote it as VA minus VB, but remember we could compact that by saying a single V from B to A. And in order to do that, um, we could look at how we set up our nodes earlier. I called the bottom node C and the upper node D. So to go from B to A, we start at point B, go through resistor four, go past point D, go through resistor three, and end up at point A. So this would be the potential from B to D plus the potential from D to A. Now notice the path I took. So when we started off, at uh, point B and we're going through resistor four, notice that I have the current coming down through that branch. And we know what this current is. That current is just IB, the current through branch B. But our path is going opposite the current. Because we are going opposite the current, we would say that the potential difference from B to D is equal to plus that current through that branch, IB times resistor four. The plus because we are analyzing the potential difference in a direction opposite the current. Now, using the result that we have for the current, the current IB, we said is the EMF of the battery over six times the resistance. And then R4 is five times the resistance of the one ohm resistor. So this should be five, six 
times the EMF of the battery. Now, when we continue from point D to point A, let's illustrate that. So we are going across resistor three from D to A. Now we have the current going from D to A and we are analyzing from D to A. Because we are analyzing in the same direction of current going across the resistor, this would be a potential drop. So we would have a minus the current in branch A times the resistance of resistor three. Now the current in branch A we know is the EMF of the battery over 6R. The resistance of resistor three is three times the resistance of the one ohm resistor. So this means that the potential from D to A is equal to minus the one half times the EMF of the battery. So we could put this together now, the potential from B to A being the potential from B to D, which we said is five sixths times the EMF of the battery, plus the potential from D to A, which we said is minus one half times the potential of the battery. And let's see about getting a common denominator here. So that's going to be three over three. So the potential from A or from B to A rather is equal to five minus three is two. So that's two six times the EMF of the battery, which is one third times the EMF of the battery. We know that the battery is 24 volts. The EMF is three or 24 volts, and that's divided by three. So this means the potential from, from um, B to A is equal to eight volts when the switch is open.